hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you blender animation add-ons that can help you to enhance your animation workflow so begin with number one dynamic parent dynamic parent is add-on for blender that allow you quickly enable disable parent child relationship between objects so here i'm going to show you how to set it up for this character so for example let's see if i have a character here the character is trying to pick this cup and drink the water from it so first you need to select your character rig and go to post mode and i'll go to edit and make sure lock object mode has been unchecked and now let's go to the frame we want the cap to stick with their hand let's say on frame 25 i want the cap start moving with the hand so i'll go to frame 25 and i'll select the parent object first which is the hand and i'll shift select the cap and click on create now from that point the cap will stick to the hand and now I want the cup to unparent when it land on the table again. So to do so, I have to go to frame the cup land on the table, which is on frame 60. And now I'll select the cup only and I'll hit disable. And now from that point, when I hit play, you can see drop and then you can see this add-on is cool and it's very quickly to make you do this kind of animation without going to add constraint keyframe now number two on the list is animation layers this add-on also enhance your animation workflow by allowing you to create select and edit animation layers seamlessly without going to the non-linear editor so here i'm going to show you how we can do a simple head there for this character over here for this i have to select the rig if you have the add-on install and you go to animation you can see you have animation layers here and i'm going to turn on the animation layer and i have to click on this plus icon and when i click on you can see we have two layers here one is the base which is the original animation we have and the anim layer is the one we are going to add on top of the base so example when i go to post mode and i want to do a head turn for this character maybe i have to go to frame 30 and i'm going to press i to insert key on frame 30 and i'm going to i'll go to frame 40 and i'm going to rotate the head to this side and i'll press i to insert another key and i want the head to remain to frame 50 so i'm going to insert another key and if i want to reset the head rotation i can go to layers and i can click on reset key and then the head will snap to its original position and then when i hit play you can see the character did a head turn i can add some arc form like this press i and you can see this is very nice you can also add the inference maybe the head turn to here is very high you can decrease the inference from here and the inference the head used to turn will be decreased you can also insert a key for the inference number three on the list is onion skin tool this add-on also gives you a visual reference for previous or later film you can select the character rig and you can go to here and click on use character set if you don't want to use this one you can just select the character body if your character body consists of so many parts you can select the rig and use use character set and click on new and now you can see we have set one and object and only this one because it's only one mesh for this character and here we can choose include current frame and i'm going to choose start to end it should be end on frame 73 where our keyframe ends and i'll choose the steps to be three or four so when i click on run you can see at any four frames there will be on your skin and here it can allow me to see how my character was moving in the 3d space stop mode is a free blender add-on that allow you easily convert your current animations to a stop motion style with just a single click you can see this character here it moves in spline if i want to give this in stop mode this add-on will help you to do it quickly how you can do is is just select your character rig or if it is in object you can select your character object but this one is controlled by rig so you have to select the rig and go to your stop mode tab and then we have step amount yeah, but let me explain this first start frame is the frame the stop mode is going to be start if you want it to start from frame 10 you just start from frame 10 and it's going to be end on frame 100 so choose the end frames to be 100 so for the step amount i'm going to choose to and the next thing you have to do is just click on apply steps and now here you can see how the character is moving you can increase the steps to any amount you want 5 
it doesn't matter and you can see it is working as expected if you're animating a character like lego animation i prefer this add-on for you because it is going to be help you to make it faster and the last add-on i want to talk about is the pooper animation pro and this add-on allow you to rig your character retarget animation and also give your character animation it has all these features over here you can see rigging animation and retarget you can retarget any animation from Mizamo to Redify and today I want to show you how you can give your character animation. I'm going to use this character, it's rigged with Auto Rig Pro. And if you check the rig target, you can see this add-on work with Regify, Auto Rig Pro, Blender to Ray Illusion, and also Mizamo and, and so many other rigs. To set it up, I have to go to post mode and I have to change all the rig settings to FK. To do so, I have to go to my tool and I'm going to snap it to FK. So right now I can go back to the poop add-on here and the rig target i'm going to change it to auto rig pro version 3 because i'm using the version 3 for this character and the next thing i'm going to do is to choose animation you want it has over 4000 animation and here you can choose which animation you want so here i can go to maybe sports let me choose this back scratch this one and the next thing i have to do is just click on preview and it's going to preview this animation for you to see so you see this one we can play it from here and see how this animation is going to and it is perfect in looping here we, we have the neck tilt we can touch the neck if you can see this one is not looking nice but you can use the neck tilt to make it to look better it also has shoulder space you can raise the shoulder up and the arm space this one is very good you can also repeat the animation and you can see the animation repeat the length here so now after you have with the results all what you have to do is just click on apply animation and this is going to convert this into keyframe over here and now you see how all this keyframe that representing the animation and the next thing i'm going to do if you want to add another animation this all you have to do is just click on add layer and if you click on add layer you can see the keyframe has disappeared but we have still have this animation playing here so i'm going to my nlinear editor nonlinear editor so go here nonlinear animation and we have this animation we just added on here called action so i'll go and select the character rig again and here i'm going to add another animation For example we have this back script again this back script so i'm going to preview this and see how this one is also work so here is going to hold that and start to pull it up so this is what i want the next thing i have to do is click on apply animation and we is going we are going to have two actions over here and the next thing i'm going to do is click on pull to pull this animation to this side and i'm going to extend my animation so here we can select the second action and bring it to here and on this one the one is going to lift up will play first so i'm going to select that one and i'm going to name it lift it has extrapolation here it said to hold so i'm going to change it to none and when we reach here it will translate into this action So you can see when it reach here, it starts to translate to the action. We have blend in and blend out, so we can choose it from here.